this is an update to my high wind sloper. Uh, the single boom and V-tail were just too flexible in high winds I found. So I've doubled the boom, that's two arrow shafts that are hot glued together. And uh, I've changed the V-tail back to a normal conventional cross tail. The tail is still 3mm uh, balsa covered with packing tape. And I have balsa fillets in the join there just to strengthen that sort of weak area of the join. And the elevator servo is now uh, lined up centrally and let into the, the front of the vertical stabiliser just for a little bit less drag. And I have a little landing skeg underneath just to keep it up off the ground. So now the tail area is a lot stiffer and we have less drag. So let's take it for a fly. Wind is southeasterly, about 15 knots, so we're heading off to Black Rock near the water treatment plant, so not a lot of people around here. There are often nesting hooded plovers, which are very rare and endangered, so you have to avoid those areas of the beach. And we're heading for those dunes up there, up on top of the dunes now, with a spectacular view, and you can see why it's called Black Rock. And you can see that there's a lot less torsion or twist in the tail, which is uh, a big improvement over the single boom and the V-tail. This sloper isn't really set up for aerobatics, but you can still, in the right conditions, flip it around, roll it and uh, do the occasional loop as long as you've got enough air speed. I don't have a movable rudder on it at this stage, I may add it later on. And coming in for a landing now using the spoiler ons, which is the best way to land a, a glider in high winds I've found. This is not my best move, but the sloper doesn't hit the rocks, it gets blown back onto the soft grass of the slope and it's easy to retrieve.